just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Welcome to a midweek, midday coffee time. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon on a Tuesday. And as you probably guessed, I already had my coffee. I have one cup a day, about six days a week, and that's before 10 a.m. Item number one. Or I could do like PewDiePie. Item number one. I'll just have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. In my last video, I talked about the street, Kale or Kaje, which means street 13. Except, as a viewer pointed out, it's Carrera, not Kale. It's not street. What's the difference? Well, you have one or the other and avenue. Now, one theory from a person that was talking to me about this uh, some months back was that one runs north and south and the other runs east and west, but that's not true because here in Armenia, it can be either direction. In Manizales, it's east to west, not north and south. So that has really nothing to do with it. Sometimes it means like a major road. Sometimes, like what we just saw, it was really a side street. Best I can tell, there may not be a whole lot of rhyme or reason to it. Uh, I mean, if you think about in the U.S. where you have so many names that can be had for a street, you know, it's probably similar. Now, on that video, I did get a lot of really nice comments, lots of thumbs up and good comments. So I thank you for that. It seems like uh, that was well liked. And... Uh, There'll be more of those coming up. We'll call them walking videos. Um, we have some more coming up. In fact, if all goes well, and that's a big if these days, I have plans to go to Ibage. Where is that? Look it up on the map. No, seriously. Seriously, go look it up on Google Map. I'll wait. I'm waiting. Did you look yet? I've never been to this place, which is, uh, I've been to most places in Colombia. I've never been to this place, and it's about four hours on the bus, maybe. It's between Armenia and Bogota, closer to Armenia. Uh, I know that the bus route going there is hell on earth. It's one of these, woo, get seasick. You know, take your motion pills beforehand, I guess. But, as I said, if all goes well, I will be making that little trip next week. I'll be there probably Wednesday, come back Thursday night. And um, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to meet with somebody who will show me a couple highlights in the town, get some video, and then come on back. I've been making some changes to the Patreon page. So if you haven't looked at the Patreon page, you might want to do that. As of now, it's still public. Uh, you can go in and take a look at anything. And you know, what changes, uh, I'm also putting my blog post there as I, as I write articles in that. I'm putting them in there. Of course, videos are in there. They will be consistently in there. But I'm also, as I find different articles of interest, I'll put those in there. So it'll be kind of a one-stop shop. I just posted up a few days ago uh, two. One on how to get a visa in Ecuador and in Colombia, how to get a retirement visa in Colombia with information of how to find other types of visas. The one in Colombia is actually a pretty good source, pretty reliable. The one in Ecuador, it's kind of, it's a bit of a commercial so there's some vested interest in there, but the information is generally okay, or at least will point you in the right direction. So if you haven't been to the Patreon page, you might want to make that a regular stop. Check in, see what's there.
my $2.50 lunch. I'll show you the rest when it arrives. Um, they always come with rice, and unless I forget, I always ask them to leave the rice off. So whatever you see, you can add the rice to it. Okay, here's the rest of my lunch. A salad, a little plantain. Chicken, and this is a stuffed potato. It's interesting because it's kind of like a tuna salad with egg in it. Uh, stuffed into a baked potato. Now, I'm torn. I haven't decided yet. The Patreon page may become closed only to pay Patreon members. Uh, it's not a decision I've made. I will probably make that decision between now and May. But in the meantime, take a look. You might find some value there. Last thing I want to mention, yeah, short one today, is the Skype calls. Now, regular viewers know that I'm doing some consulting work. People that want to visit or move here, I can hold their hand, walk them through different things, track down information for them before they get here, uh, basically be their legwork. But what really has been doing pretty well are these Skype calls. Uh, for 50 bucks, I'll get on the Skype and talk for, well, they're averaging out about an hour and a half. Uh, I'll talk till my voice runs out. But they've been pretty good. I'm, ge I'm getting very good feedback on it because I actually have a lot of information. So they'll get on and they'll have a whole series of questions and I work, work through those. I not only answer the questions, but because I'm so long-winded, I talk about various aspects related to that question and try to round it out and give them a good picture of what it is they're curious about. So that's something to consider. And in the Patreon account, there is a level that you get a couple uh, Skype calls included in that paid level. But uh, to do a Skype call, it's real simple. You just send me off an email, say that you want to do it. Uh, the transfer fund information is in the description below these videos. And we just set up a time and we meet on the Skype call. We talk away. They've actually been pretty enjoyable so far, and I'm, I'm positive they've been beneficial to people. Uh, money well spent. If there's anybody that's done a Skype call and doesn't agree, feel free to post a comment below. So, it's been about every night, but this is a particularly good pounding rainstorm I don't know if it's gonna come across but it is loud okay that's it for today I'll see you soon